Hey guys, welcome to the video report of round four at the European Youth Chess Championships in Mamaya. Um, round four, pretty good round. Uh, we scored 11 and a half, well, 11 and a half points out of 18, which is quite nice. Um, the most impressive performance so far is from Ilko de Boer. Yesterday we mentioned he had 3 out of 3, but he won again today against a higher rated opponent. So 4 out of 4, and I think he's playing board 1 today, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but most of the, um, the high ranked players also won their games. So we have a, we have a pretty good round. And um, fortunately, Marit had a bye, but okay, she'll try to recover. And um, also, Robin scored her first win, so she's very happy with that as well. Took her like 92 moves. Um, but she did it, so that's that's pretty awesome. Um, so for today's video report, I have with me Elina Rubers. Hi, and you're playing the um, girls under 12, right? Yes. So can you tell me how's your tournament going? Not good, because the first two rounds I was placed versus underrated players. Hmm, you didn't score too well, did you? <laughs> no, but um, yesterday you had a nice game. Yeah. Yeah, and I must say, um, she really wanted to show one of her games this tournament, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, so um, I'm glad we, we made an agreement like a few days ago that when you played a good game, we were going to show it in the video report. So here it is. So you played against, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, it's like he Hedja? 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 I guess it's Hedja. Um, <laughs> So we just skipped the opening, it was a Scandinavian, and here you got all your pieces developed, and you decided to come with a very good move. You played d5. Can you tell me why this is such a good move? The queen standing on the rook line, mm -hmm. and I break the center. Yeah, you just want to open yeah. up the position, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a very good idea. So, um, she got a bit confused. She played queen c8. And you decided to bring more pieces, rook d1. Yeah. Um, she, she pulled her bishop back as well. You went bishop d4. So looking for new targets at every move. Now you're attacking yeah. the knight. So she also moved the knight. And here you played a very good idea, I think. Because you played g4 and bishop g6. And now what did you play? Knight e5. So what's the plan after... Uh, with this move, white um, squares, <laughs> yeah, squares, uh, making bad. Yeah, so you want to get the light square bishop to yeah. make the, the light squares weak. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole point, and um, because the bishop has nowhere to go, so mm -hmm. and she, she can't even defend the bishop, so she's forced to play a move, like for example, now g5, she played in the game, and now you took the bishop. And she took back, so now you weakened the light squares. Yeah, that was the plan. Um, so you protected the h3 pawn. Quite nice, knight of 7. So, how did you decide to um, do something with those um, weakened white squares? Uh, the white squares are too bad. Mm -hmm. So how do you, uh, what do you play here to, um, to punish her for the weak white squares? Uh, bishop d yeah, you play bishop d3, that's a good move. So she played g5 to defend the pawn, and now you played a very strong move. Bishop b1. Yes. Yeah, so the plan is play. Queen c2. Yeah, queen c2. It's, it's quite logical, but still you need to play the move, and you got you got to find the idea, and this is quite nice. And now you can see the problem of your light square bishop missing. Yeah, she's just in trouble. It's very difficult for her to defend these squares. So she played e5. To attack your bishop, so you move your bishop, that makes sense. And she played bishop e7. Um, and now you could have played queen c2 maybe, but you decided yeah. to do something else first. Yeah. Because you played knight e4, what was your plan? Uh, bishop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let, let's say black does nothing, see what your plan was. So you want to go bishop c5. If she takes. I take c5. And then what? Let's now develop my knight. Knight e6. That's a beautiful square. Yeah. So you want to put your knight there. Um, and I think it's also quite important that you're covering this square, right? For the king. Yeah. But now if you move your queen here and here, the direct checkmate threat as well. Okay. So you went for knight e4. So she played rook d8. Because you might also be threatening to push this pawn, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so he has to go rook d8. Now bishop c5. Bishop takes, knight takes, all yeah. according to plan. Knight d6. And here it was time to go queen d3, right? Yeah. And now, what can she do? Nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing. It's very difficult here for black. So she played rook e8. And this is where you um, grabbed your chance. Check. Yeah. King f7. Bishop g6. All the white squares are weak. King f6. And now you just... Did you consider to find a checkmate? Did you look for a checkmate here? Not really. You just wanted to have the rook. Yeah. <laughs> but the rook is enough, right? Yeah. You just grab the rook there. Queen takes. You exchange the knights as well. Well, um, this is a winning position, huh? Yeah. So you had to play on for a few more moves to um, quite a few more moves, <laughs> but in the end you won the game. It's a very nice attack. I really like how you uh, managed to get the bishop, yeah. and then get your queen and bishop on the diagonal and checkmate. So pretty good game. Well done. Nice one. Um, so what's up with today? Who are you playing today? Um. Oh. Yeah, but who are you playing against? Who? Uh, you forgot the name. <laughs> what rating are you being paired uh, up or down? It's a stronger uh, or weaker opponent. Weaker. weaker opponent. But it's always dangerous, yeah? The opponents yeah. in these tournaments. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's hope you do well today as well. And yeah. um, so I want to wish you good luck. I want to thank you for showing the game because it's um, pretty brave to do this in English. So yeah. um, that's pretty cool that you're sitting here. Um, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, tomorrow there is a rest day. What are you going to do on the rest day? Swimming. swimming. Yeah, lots of swimming to do here. Yeah. We've got a nice resort with swimming pools, the sea, and it's all good fun. So swimming tomorrow for you. Yeah. Cool. So that also means no video reports from us tomorrow. Um, but you can still follow the live games today and then, um, well, we're back again um, to chess on Monday. So um, good luck for you. Um, thank you guys for watching and, um, well, bye.